screen record is acting weird again. It does, that. Didn't that happen on Karina's one time, other, another time? Yep. Karina, I think you're cursed. I wouldn't dare it. Anyway, hello, this is Nicole. Welcome, my genies. We're back on The Sims for City Life. Now, Karina has some things to announce. Go ahead, Karina. We are tell you this. My granddaughter that was in college for several months. McKenna. Yes, I know that. I didn't say her name. I don't. I do know her name. Of course, you're psychic. You know everything. All these Emma dudes went up there. She already knows all that stuff. She was bored. So I talked to my good friend Chanel, who actually is in the fashion industry. And she's going to let McKenna work for her as an intern and learn on the job. And McKenna is so excited about it. So we went ahead. I already paid for the whole year to, to, uh, into, in tuition. I just told him to go ahead and keep the money. I donated another $500,000 to the college, which they was excited about. And they went ahead and signed out her. So she doesn't have to worry about going back to school no more. She's going to learn on the job with she needs. And the kids decided, she, oh, she cannot wait. We just have to take a little snow vacation for three days. Because we never been in the snow, really. I mean, we did some of the city, but nothing like this. Fresh air, open mountain, the trees everywhere. It's just amazing here. I love it. I don't know why. I'm not, I'm a city girl. But I'm really enjoying this nature. I bet Kanika really loves it, too. Oh, yeah, she was really excited. I had them blindfolded until we got here. They didn't know where we was going. Ah. <laughs> and of course, Jeremy and Kathy's gonna come tomorrow. To, <laughs> to, and, and, the, and I guess the, I guess I don't know if Walden's coming or not. He might. We're gonna have a a, a hover fest here tomorrow. Yeah, and you're gonna spend three days here. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll come back. <laughs> Maybe for Christmas, I don't know. Why did you walk through the stairs, Karina? You walked through the stairs. Who knows? I'm like, I get some magical tea. <laughs> hey, Karina, did you see the, the the plates and stuff on the build mode? Plates? Those stacked up plates? Yes, I did. What do you think? Oh, I already made a prediction. <laughs> when I first saw it, I already know. It's going to be something to do with haunting stuff. Because if you've ever seen the original Ghostbusters... <laughs> Then you know they're stackable plates. And what is better than having ghosts? Especially for you. I talk to ghosts all the time. So I predict the next pack coming out is going to have something to do with ghost busting or, or ghosts in general. Maybe a haunting party plate pack or something. That's my prediction. I already predicted that when I saw it before anybody else ever said nothing. So, you know, that's just the way it's it is. Awesome. What if they had a sidekick job? That'd be cute. I'd do that. If they, I, actually, both girls have, have, have my powers. And McKenna's is getting strong every day. I got mine when I was a little girl. And I think she's, they, I think they've been hiding this. And maybe they're just not as strong at that, that time. Mine was super strong. I don't know. But I do know that they're getting, and McKenna's really coming powerful. And but she wants to go into fashion. So that's, you know, if she still wants to do psychic stuff, but she'll still know the psychic stuff. But she can go into fashion. But she told me, she said, Grandma, I'm just bold. I know all this stuff. I learned this stuff a long time ago. She's read books and all kinds of stuff on fashion. But she knows a lot. I tried to tell her she didn't know to go to school to learn that. They wouldn't go teach her that she didn't already know. She needed to do on-hand job stuff. That's why I got her job with Chanel. Now she's going to learn on, on the job. And she's going to learn to with a real good person, too. Chanel's hell of a fashion designer. How long, have you been, how long have you been friends with Chanel? Let's see here. I guess I met her when I was probably about 40. She was about 20 years old then. She's sitting on a, a bench. And it was raining like crazy that day, and she was crying. And I said, honey, what's wrong with you? And she said, oh, I'm just upset, honey. I'm just upset, Miss, uh, what's your name? 
I told him my name, of course. You know, you know we have, we're, we're very proper about Mrs. and Mr. and all that. Thank you. And, you know, I teach my kids how to be proper about that way. And I said, my name's Karina. You can call me Miss Karina if you want. She said, okay. I said, what's your name, honey? She said, my name's Chanel. I said, oh, I love that name. It's so pretty. I said, that's like a fashion designer. And she said, well, there is a fashion designer named Chanel. You have a mind spell with the S-H-A-N-E-L-L. And I said, oh. And she said, but I, I want to be a fashion designer. And I sit down next to her. She put her little umbrella over my head. And she said, she took my hand. She said, I want to thank you so much, Mr. Karina. It's just, just a little bit of talking. I don't really have anybody to talk to you right now. My mom's out of town. My dad don't visit out of town, too. And, and I don't have any brothers or sisters. Uh, nice. Most of my family is out of state. So I didn't get to see him very much. And I was holding her hand. I said, honey, I said, you're going to be a fashion designer. You're going to be famous. She said, oh, my God, you're kidding. I said, no, I'm psychic. I know all this stuff. And she said, well, I'm getting ready to be thrown in my apartment. I said, oh, no, you're not. I said, here. I said, let me give you some money. She said, oh, no, I don't want to take your money. I said, yeah, I want to get you started. And there's a cute little shop across the street. It was just a small little place at the time. So I went over there, and I talked to the owner, and we rented it for her. And there was an apartment above the store, so she could move in upstairs. I paid the rent for her for several years. And then one day, all of a sudden, her design became world known. She came back and tried to hand me a check for, I don't even know how much it was, and then I said, no, nah, I don't want it. I invest in your career. She said, there's ever anything you want or need, you just talk to me, Miss Karina. And I said, all right. So I made a phone call. I said, honey, I said, this is Miss Karina. She said, oh, I know. She said, I, I recognize you both, because we do talk from time to time. I said, my granddaughter is in college. I said, she's not really learning anything. She wants to be a fashion designer. She said, well, honey, she said, come on, bring her on. I'll, I'll work on Monday through Friday, and I'll teach her all she needs to know. And I even pay her a little bit. I said, wonderful, wonderful. So she's going to start after our vacation, after the holidays. She starts at the new year. That sounds exciting. Yeah, she can't wait. Yeah, but that's a really long story, so I, yeah, I kind of took a little time, but that's okay. Well, you guys blame things. Well, of course. Huh? Hey, Karina, there's a hot spot it's right here. here. I never use one of those. You can always use that for dinner later. What do you want to do first? It has a way of them. Well, it's actually sunny outside, so there is snow. Let's go try the snow then. Let's see if there's snow on the skin or something. Let's see how the calendar looks. There's going to be freezing and stuff like that all through Friday, but Saturday's going to be windy. Hmm. Huh? I guess we to get some of that stuff done today. Oh wait, Karina, I just realized something. I think one of the festivals and stuff will be there Friday, so you'll you'll be going. Oh, I heard that theme. I heard this one. I want to go. Definitely. Let's see what festival is on Friday. I'm trying to look for the thing. There it is, right here. Get information on the next festival. And I get this got snowboarding that's really the sign. I always want to try that anyway. I've always been a big active person, you know. Are you into snowboarding and stuff? I like I said, I'm 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 in my sixties. Early sixties. And I want to try all kinds of stuff. I got you gotta live. That is true. And I, I know I'm not a real athletic person, but I do, you know, stay in shape. Walden is in daycare. His both okay. parents are at work, apparently. So I want to try all kinds of new stuff. I like the camping we did. I said I like to try camping with just a tent sometime. McKenna wasn't ready for that, was she? No, she said no, Grandma. I don't want to do that. I need a place to stay. As air conditioning and heat and mm -hmm. stuff. I said, oh my God, girl. If I could do it, you could do it. Because, good Lord. I've been living in the city all my life. If I could try the country. And I enjoyed myself outside. Even though there's bugs and stuff. But bugs ain't never bothered me. Nothing, nothing much bothered me. 
Okay, apparently the, the next festival's on Saturday. It's I thought it was Friday and stuff. Hang on, let me look at this. <laughs> oh, man. We're gonna be down, aren't we? Hang on, let's look at the festival schedule real fast. Oh, it already popped up. Friday's the Festival of Light. From 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. Okay, we can do that then. So you can do, you can go to that one. That'd be cool. I like that. I love light. It's pretty. It's a pretty day. I oh. think there is a total of three festivals. Maybe there's more. And there is one. On, there's one on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, this is every other Friday. Oh, so it's not every Friday. So I guess the next festival is oh, gonna be on Saturday. Friday. Hey, back in. He just Hi, Baco. I think he disappeared because he noticed. I guess he noticed me. So where do you where do you want to go first? Well, of course, we have to go on the easy slope. Well, we haven't ever done so yet. Yeah, fine. Let's go look for the slopes then. It's a huge place. I would say it is. Let me add all of you to a group real fast. This this is really helpful from get together the group thing. I really use them a lot, especially when there's multiple people in one place. So just make them go here and whatever, it's more simple. Alright, let's look for the main slope. Oh, that's the easy slope, I guess. The bunny slope. Let's look for the other ones. Oh, this is a more of a, this is the expert slope. The ludicrous? Ooh. Expert slope, you need to be level 4, apparently. What's the ludicrous slope 1? 5. Ooh, that's even worse. The intermediate, you need to be level 3. We, we, we not even leveled up yet. It's weird to go on the bunny. Are you going to go skiing or snowboarding first? I'm going to do some skiing, I think. You going to do a goofy stance? Let's do it. I'm going to try everything. I'm gonna do high intensity, low or medium. It's too high. Let's just go to it. Isn't the kinna excited about this? Not really. She likes to snap. I bet Kanika's really look she's oh, running she with is. you. She is, she she's gonna be her sister probably. Actually she's running against you. Oh <laughs> wonder who will win. Where's McKenna? Oh she's all the way She's all the way right there. She's walking, not even running. Yeah, she's not too excited about coding this now. He tell me she grabbed my thoughts bomb. Oh, I hurt my butt. I said, wait, just get and try it again. You know you wait, wait, your... McKenna's already going. I guess you was more excited than that dog. Let's see how she does. Do you see Karina? You didn't get, oops. I guess McKenna was already there. I guess she was ready. Oh, she didn't fall! Good job! Who's calling McKenna? Somebody was calling her. Who that man? Kiyoshi? Uh, how is he? A teen. Uh. Kanika's a teen? Yeah, she might like him. Who knows? Well, she's just... She with that jig, guys. Yep, guys. Oh, All right, man. Karina, you're going. You did fun. Woo, I'm going to slow. Wait. I'm going to take it, did you? <laughs> Wait, Kanika's going with you. Oh, no, that's a bad idea. Oh. You almost felt look like... Oh. Man, but tell us to just do it this way. Oh, you didn't oh. fall either. Whoa. I told you I could do this, dude! <laughs> well, there's Kanika. She didn't fall Good either. Good job, everybody! Whoa, nobody fell. Everybody did well in their first time. It may be a what to do. Makes sense. Uh. Alright, McKenna's going again.
You can't just jam it into a different one and go because I had to work it uh, And what? Well, then. Yeah. They was afraid to bring a toddler over here. I don't blame them. We can't oh, fail! Honey. You're right! Is she not, is she not looking forward to this anymore? Or is she fine? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Her thoughts sometimes get, get a little erratic. Just like, screw this, I don't want to do it, and then she'll say, ah, oh, I'll try it again. <laughs> <laughs> if Grandma can, that's the thing, it's competition. If Grandma can do it, then I have to do it. Whoa, are you okay, Karina? I'm fine. I'm still up here. Makes sense. Whoa. Whoa, that's a good one. I need a little bunny hop. <laughs> Who knows if you keep doing well, you might be a pro at this and secretly. I used to ice skate when I was a kid, but this is nothing like ice skating. Whoa! <laughs> Can you I had fun now, I had fun. Kanika's going. What are you doing going so slow? <laughs> Whoops, that's why. <laughs> All of you are having fun though. Hi, Baco! You follow me, ain't you? Nope, we were here first, right, Karina? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's without that. I, I know you thought of me. Let me get over here. Well, you're still there, Baco. Yeah, I guess we get lined in. Yeah. Let's see how McKenna does this time. Whoa, she almost fell. She fell on this man! What? Scratch that. Are you okay, Karina? I'm bad. Well, so I said you, you're uncomfortable. Oh, you injured your foot. Yeah, I do tweet you a little bit oh. inside now. What I guess, happened? I guess Baco left. <laughs> that was off a bounce on that one. You're, you're, you're feeling playful now. I'm having a blast. You're doing well, though. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright! Look, well, here comes Kanika. Oh, she fell? Whoops! <laughs> it's like Grandma 2, Kids 1! <laughs> You're, you're beating everybody so far. Kathy's feeling uncomfortable. When do I? I don't know. Bjorn? It's always there. Bjorn, what are you doing here? Your wife keeps yelling at you? I guess Baco's gonna go after Karina. We can see how Baco does. Baco, we need to see how you do. Hey, boy, don't you worry about me, I'm bad. We'll see. Stalker. How am I a stalker? Every time I'm on here, I see you. No, I think you're stalking. Ah. McKenna fell. Uh, it's great, my two, and you still won. Where'd Baco go? I'm winning so far. I don't know, he disappears. Ooh. Woo You're level two, Karina. Oh, thank you. You can now inquire about powder oh. conditions off and show off in a new sporty pair of ski pants. Yeah. Uh. You're kind of sad because she keeps falling. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Three! Three by three! <laughs> Dang, Karina, you're doing good. Next. You kids won. I won. <laughs> uh oh, Kanika's going. I did won. Ain't way to catch up to me. Oh, yep, you got number. Oh, you number one. You're doing good, Karina. Oh, don't be sad. You're fine. Hey, my goodness. 
Kanika side too. I know. That's because his father and grandma's 61 and she beating him. <laughs> well, you're doing well, though. Yeah, look at McKenna. She's sad. You just, just keep your legs like that man told you. You need to be too far apart. Uh oh. You bring your skis together to get a little bit. Whoopsie, I told you. What are all of what about blah, blah, blah. what are all of you gonna have for dinner? Something from the hot pot? Yeah, we'll see what kind of recipes they got in there. Uh oh. McKen McKenna didn't fall. Good job, I told you you could do. Now she got two. <clears throat> this and you're going. What if you get four? I see a one. You didn't. You didn't fall. You got four. <laughs> are, you, are you all? Are you all done now? Yeah, I'm bad. Let's see how the Nikki does. All right, let's see how she does for the last turn. All right, you got four. McKenna has two. Kanika has one. Jacob wants to know if McKenna wants to go over to his house. Nah, maybe on vacation. Uh oh, she almost fell. Don't worry. No, she's sad. Alright. Well, I guess you're on your way back to their, your place. I'm hungry. It's kind of tired. We didn't win them down several times. I guess that's what happens when you're older sometimes. Yeah, if I still keep up with them, I still beat them too. You did great. I like that one. You did great though. Alright, what do you want to make in the hot pot? The Odin, the Sukiyaki. Ooh, Sukiyaki, I think that's, I think that's how it's you. pronounced. <clears throat> of course, you're getting your water. You forgot to get your morning water today. Yeah, I was, I was on my way here. It's bad. How does the water taste in this place? It's really good and cool. I guess it's in the mountain. I guess Mount Tomarevi has good water. Jeremy's home and brought home money, and Walden's not in daycare anymore. How do you feel about Walden acting the way he is? Well, hopefully they'll teach him some lessons, but if they don't, I guess I'm gonna have to, because that boy's not gonna grow up like it. What in the world caused him to be that way, I wonder? He's the only boy. They spoiled him rotten. I tell him they're gonna be sorry of uh -huh. it. It's about that boy Friday's up on, on top of him. Oh, and then he thinks every time he cries, he has to have his mom and dad. <laughs> <clears throat> One or the other. I don't fall for that stuff. What do you do when he cries? I say, I go look at him. I say, what's the matter? You heard or something? He said, no, nah, get me. I say, well, then what's wrong? Hey, what's in the teaching? I say, well, you ain't gonna get no teaching for cry. You want teaching? You come up and talk to me and not cry, and I'll give you some attention. You're gonna cry and scream and throw a tantrum. I'm not gonna give you none. I just walk away. And they say, I know Kathy be up there, but she's right there on top. I said, you better leave him alone. It's cooking, I guess. It smells good. Oh, yeah. Um. Karina? Yeah. Apparently you're sick. What's going on? You got uh -huh. sick or something. Uh -huh. You have stripes. Then uh what? -huh. Kathy's back home. Let's make it some minutes. I guess the girls are talking. Oh, I guess the food's done. Ooh, it looks good. All of you can eat here without any problems with the hot pot. The pot's right there. Ooh, they hot! Are you okay? Yeah. We can order supplies while on vacation. I think you hate it. Mm. Alright, let's get some medicine. I think McKenna's getting sick too. I'll get some for Kanika just in case. Make it be not used to being out in here. Maybe. 
It's not super cold where you live. No, but it's but... Pretty, you get pretty cold in the city. Oh! Ooh, the food's hot apparently. Who's it's good, but it is hot. Who's can you get texting? Grab a jib. <laughs> I think they're boyfriend and girlfriend now. Huh? I am boo. Oh. Yeah, they're sweethearts, and and he is her boyfriend. Yeah. He's a good kid. His parents are terrible. <laughs> His grandma's good. I've never been embarrassed to be in that family. Where are you gonna get the food? It's delicious. Oh, gosh, love. Oh. Your foot's still oh, sore. Toes. Yeah, it'll be alright. It's warm me up for sure. <laughs> huh? Look around. Ah. Yeah, McKenna's getting sick too. She's feeling delirious. Huh. Seeing stars is usually a good thing, except when you're the only one that does. Does she have a headache? Magrine. Kanika's gone through a phase. She's feeling distant and will prefer to be alone for a while. A good lord. What happened? After talking to Jeb, she's feeling distant. He's been talking to her head. What? Yeah, he had. I don't know if he's good for her or not. <laughs> what happened? He keeps telling her he, that they just need to be alone and then she needs to stay away from her family and stuff and it's not gonna she's not gonna do that but since she's now she is doing it. I am boo. Oh. Uh -huh. He said, No, I have a good family. I love my, my parents and all. I guess he's saying all families are bad. It's because he did don't mean all of these. Maybe you should talk to him or something. If he yeah. still if he still doesn't change his mind, then no. him and Kanika should not be together. Then I keep telling her that I had the vision of her and him being together, but now I've been having visions of her not being with him. I guess uh, I guess I can switch. Yeah, but I always knew that Bikini gonna be with Jacob. Yeah, I always knew that. Kanika's in the living room alone. She's really sad. Yeah, I need to go talk to you. She's feeling unsure what she should do because she doesn't want to make him upset, but then she loves all of us, so you know. It's a bad relationship. She needs to be with him. She's, she's angry, but sad at the same time. She's probably angry, about, angry at him and sad. What's the matter, honey? Tell you, Matt, take me all bad. <laughs> Kanika? Oh, she's coming back. Yeah, she's sad. Alright, can she... What can you do when you're sad? Ask for advice. That'll be perfect. I guess both of you are going to go somewhere else and talk. Yips. Um, okay, it canceled out for some reason. <clears throat> there it is, that's for advice. I guess Kanika's kind of feeling nervous about yeah. talking about this, I don't know. Uh, oh. Grosha. Uh, I know you don't know, you feel like you don't know what to do. Yeah. That boy not good for you, I told you, you don't need to be with him. You feeling bad? I think she getting sick too. What in the world are all of you sick with? I don't know, something out here, yeah, I mean, we got for, I bet we got it out in the city before we came. That man, it was on the, it was on the bus, he was pretty sick. Mm -hmm. Huh? Zabora? Uh, uh, I hope you listen to me. <laughs> well, you can't call and break up with someone. You have to invite them here and break up with them. Yeah, I think it's the best that she did there. He just had to leave. Uh. 
You seem to get maybe the Ma. Ma's how the stays did anyway. She's wanting to invite him. What do you think? Should she go and get it over with or what? I would. Maybe she, maybe she could be that. Maybe that man out at the mound, a nice boy. I don't know. Who knows? You can you can definitely tell they're not right for each other. I know they're not. He's been damaged too much. I was really hoping we could bring him out of it. He made him around a good family, but he's he's getting worse and worse. What happened this time? Besides that. He wants it all to himself, but she's just in high school. She wants her to run away with him and stuff that she ain't gonna do. With she's him. only sixteen. I know it. He said he can get a job and they'll be fine, but uh no. She she's a smart girl. She knows that's wrong. So and it's they've been arguing and stuff she won't do it. Kanika's gonna listen to you and break up with him. Let's see what happens. I don't know if he's gonna get mad or not. Karina, you wanna be there? I this probably should be. <clears throat> probably would be better if you were. Huh? I'm sure Kanika cares about him in some way, but this is not a good relationship. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's die, honey, but you just, you're bringing it down. Oh, she said to <laughs> Alright, they have a new sentiment now. Let's see what it says. Kanika's sentiments about about Jeb furious. Just the sight of Jeb gets on Kanika's nerves. These days, like how dare Jeb show his face? Okay. She's she's very sad right now. It's for the beast. Break up blues. She just she had her first relationship and now her first breakup dramatically cry about life. Really, you think, Karina? She'd be okay. It's taking a time. Wanna go give her a hug and stuff, she's gonna go cry. Yes, I will. Maybe she can talk at boy if he's in tomorrow. Who knows? And he's afraid my help her. Rather she's sleeping through it. I'm surprised. Well, McKenna's been asleep for a little while. Oh, <laughs> poor Kanika. I feel so bad for her, but it had to be done. <laughs> Who's just trying to con make her do something she doesn't want to do? Trying to control her. That's not a good relationship. No, it's not. I told her that. And she knew it, but she just didn't want to hurt the feeling. I bet, I bet she's crying because she feels bad. Yeah, because he was crying. And that was her first relationship. Oh. Y'all too fast. Yeah, right, baby. It'll get big. Oh. Yeah. There will be minutes. someone better for her. Who will actually... Treat her right. Kubepa I think it's time for all of you to go to bed. Kanika will be fine. She'll be sad for a little while, but she'll be okay. <clears throat> That's why she was having... The... Let's see. Where is it? The distant... Yep. Child, child. I think she's face. trying to think it through. I guess she was debating whether or not she should. Yeah. Well, the family. Well, 
Karina and McKenna and Kanika had a wonderful time on vacation, but I guess I guess Kanika finally decided to tell her grandma what was going on with her and Jeb. But I already knew it. Well, you already knew. Yeah. I guess I guess you're just waiting for the right time, yeah. especially when her the phase popped up. But hopefully, well, tomorrow is another day. It's Thursday now. I'm sure they'll have a wonderful harvest fest. I'm sure Kanika's gonna be heartbroken for a while, but she'll be okay. Thank you all so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you have the notification bell to get notified time I upload. Fishing! I love you all so much. Bye! Bye, everybody! Bye, everybody. Bye! Oh, brother. <laughs> Bye, everybody. 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 Bye, everybody.